Hey, welcome! Uh, today I'd like to show you how to install Unreal Engine 4, I mean the editor of course, on Linux. And trust me, it's not this complicated. It's, it's a big waste of time. I mean, they, we are forced to compile it ourselves, but it's not uh, as complicated as you could imagine. The only thing that, uh, that you, is kind of... Uh, kind of twisted is the a plugin so i recorded this uh doing it because there was a, an update on uh, 4.20 so uh i thought it was a good time to record it and uh, show you how how i'm doing it uh, every time there's an update obviously and i will, I will also show you how to uh, remove the limits you have on your open file because uh, Unreal Engine needs to, to open many things. You will see. Uh, let's go! Just go on this web page. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, as you can see, um, everything is plain. I also created something on my website uh, which can really could really help you. Uh, so, um, just uh, create a uh, GitHub account if you don't have one, and uh, then you need to to go on a uh, Epic website in your account and link it. As you probably understood, uh, Unreal Engine is open source or kind of. So you can browse the, the the source code, which is really interesting, and you can sell things and just pay uh, royalties. Oh, not not make things for free. Uh, just click on the buttons uh, on top right to access your account and uh, you have associated, I mean, or paired, I don't know in English. Uh, just add the GitHub. They will uh, send you an email, just, uh, you know, like any registration, I mean. Just uh, click the link and the, and now you will see. I mean, if if you go on GitHub before registering, you it will tell uh, it will lie and tell you no no there's no page. <laughs> of course there is a page if you're linked. Okay. Once you have access to this page, you can uh, download or clone uh, the repository. I mean. If you uh, custom to to GitHub, you can uh, of course install uh, Git or if you don't already install it. See, uh, nothing, nothing special. Uh, or you can uh, download the zip. See, address for Git. First line, and second one. Second button is download zip. The zip. <laughs> to, I don't understand why they're using zip since it's a uh, crappy compression. You could use uh, tar G Z or 7zip. Don't know. Problem, the only problem with zip is, is that you're downloading everything every time. Uh, so I've already the, uh, a folder. I can uh, I I want to to replace it, but uh, I can't just do it this way. I I don't exactly uh, know where my key bindings, editor key bindings are. I have some guesses, but uh, so uh, I will uh, backup it before <laughs> just to make sure I won't lose all my keys because. Uh, Especially since I'm, I'm French, you know, so my keyboard is not QWERTY at all. <laughs> so let's open the editor. I, I always open the editor with a, a terminal because I love having nice and uh, colored uh, output, you know. It's so uh, open with any project. Who cares? Yeah, sometimes I'll make some uh, cuts in the timeline because <laughs> <laughs> some things are a bit long, especially since this project is uh, a bit heavy. So, uh, edit it. Um, edit table uh, uh, bindings. Uh, where are they? Where are you? Uh, 
here. And you see uh, it's an example in France. Z is W on your on American keyboards. So uh, export up now. My mind is uh, at peace. <laughs> so uh, now uh, I can try to extract it, replace the the previous folder. Now inside it I can I click open the terminal and I will ask for setup. So we'll use the setup uh, sh well, Linux one. It will do download all, all the mm, and dependencies and uh, prepare for for compilation. Uh, let's go up. I love videos. If only I could cut in time <laughs> in, real, in real life. So uh, we can register even if I never open uh, by double clicking because as, as I said uh, I, I want the, the terminal to, to see the output so the, the output inside the editor is uh, not very convenient. So make, 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 make and now wait for long long time my child <coughs> Whew, you have to be patient really patient and sometimes you forgot something very important that you had some plugins inside so it will crash <laughs> you see the command line is very useful. <laughs> so much better than the inside uh, output, which is really complicated to read. Oh, uh, you can use other terminals too. There are some uh, more convenient for some people. So as you want. So uh, as I said, you can use you also use git. So I'll show you quickly. Uh, if you want to up update a folder, if I uh, cloned it, if I used uh, git clone this way, uh, and the, the and you know the address be, uh, behind, uh, I mean uh, this one, no, click here to copy, then uh, paste. If I downloaded uh, the the engine this way the first time, I could now just uh, ask to ask it to 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 pull. Uh, the, the the differences so it would just replace uh, the fact of course here that I removed the dot git to show you <laughs> so <laughs> but uh, you um, I rem I removed my folder many times actually <laughs> anyway um, it's long. <laughs> it's what really pisses me off. This long, 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 long time. If only Epic Games could just build it and distribute it like uh, on Windows and Mac. At least for uh, Ubuntu-like distributions, and, um, there are so many people using it. Please, Epic. Please. Ah, ah, ah. Mm, okay. Uh, here I forgot about the plugins. Yeah, they're already compiled. We have to remove. Uh, I will destroy one so I can recompile and show you, and the other ones I will put them uh, in a safe place.
We need to a uh, Windows uh, version <laughs> with the launcher to download the plugins. And then put them inside a project and uh, where where the engine will compile them. So convenient. Thanks, Epic. Maybe the plugins are really pissing me off every time I update. <clears throat> Hey, wait, 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 wait. We'll take the marketplace folder, it's better, <laughs> and to put it directly outside. So we just have to move it again after. It's so damn long. The window, uh, <coughs> the Windows version. Where is that shit? <coughs> you open the marketplace folder, you put it inside a wherever, wherever you want. I will make a new project, a uh, basic project here. What we need to do now uh, is to put these plugins back in the uh, in the, uh, the engine folder, you don't have to uh, recompile all your pl plugins every time. Huh? Of course, I deleted one to show you here how to, uh, but you you don't need to do it every time. Uh, just when it's really needed. I mean, for for major releases, as an example, 4.19 to 4.20 as an example. So, up. Uh, uh, Marketplace is back. So now we need to open a new engine. And create a new uh simply a new project. Name to you don't care. Just create a, a project to to use for compilation. I mean, you can use uh, you can put uh, you can use one of your already made projects, but I prefer making separate one for this kind of uh, purpose. We close it. We put the plugins we want inside uh, the folder. See here, I need a. I need a plugins folder. So up plugins folder. Marketplace. Uh remove uh put it another one. I shouldn't up. Uh, open the U plugin file. Make sure there is no uh, nothing preventing it from going to Linux. I mean, uh, no exclude or include only uh, Windows and Mac. Uh, remove this all this kind of stuff. You just want it to be uh, basic like this. Uh, I don't uh, really understand the uh, engine version thing. I mean, uh, four dot uh, something, um, okay. But the last number, even if you put the right one, sometimes you have errors. It's very weird. So I put something, but I don't don't know. It's, it's not very important. The only thing important is major uh, release version. Now I can open my project. Any empty project, <laughs> and uh, it will um, it will compile the, the plugin. Very weird way to do it, but <laughs> it works. You will see. Mm -hmm. Of course, my friend. So, woohoo! Best plugin ever is here. As you can see, it's here, no problem. Du -du 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 -du. 
Dungeon theme, uh, dungeon architect, uh, map and uh, themes, etc. Okay. Now, if I want to use it uh, outside of a, of a project, I'll have to put it inside the, the engine again. So I put it inside inside plugins uh, marketplace. Where are you? Here, of course. Uh, here, paste, and now I can use this plugin all the, in all the the four to twenty here projects. It's uh, late uh, 2018, so if only we had the downloader like Windows and Mac, not have to take the Windows one, then recompile it. <sighs> Honestly, Epic, please. We're supposed to, we're developers, we're supposed to know how to do this, but it's a waste of time, Epic, please. Uh, and one last thing, on my website, uh, go to the, the documentation uh, I wrote and uh, you will need something. So in development and really engine, just uh, scroll down and use um, the command lines. I put it here, uh, especially the first one. If you, of course, if you're on Ubuntu, uh, for graphics uh, interface uh, softwares, you need the first one. Just copy paste it uh, in a terminal and press enter. It will add the rules. And the second one, uh, watch out. The second one, you need your user. And instead of uh, your user, if you you I mean instead of a user, <laughs> you need to put your your user and uh, copy paste it, and it will add it for command line softwares. I uh, don't think you need it here. Just uh, just put it here, so because many people ask this question of very often. Uh, you know how to do app approximately everything, so I think it's that's it. Mm, no. If you have any question, I'm here. Just ask in the comments below or on the, the channel. You know, there is a chat uh, discussion. Uh, I, I don't know the word on the on the channel page. Remember, just just shake Epic so they remember uh, we need a downloader and a compilation on the server at least for Ubuntu and uh, Ubuntu likes uh, uh, distributions. Please remember, tell them, tell them, <laughs> please. It will be awesome because I really love it. Begins really, really, they're just so nice people. Just so we they just don't don't realize how I, th I don't know. They probably don't realize how uh, painful all this is uh, every time, especially for indie developers. We, I mean, we are the whole team. <laughs> Um, one man team. It's uh, very or oh man uh, even small studios do, doing it it's all, all the time. It, it, no, it's no, no. Please, please, please. Uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, uh, you have the small bell. Uh, you, you you can share this video. Uh, please share it because uh, I try to answer questions that are often asked. So <laughs> tell everyone or oh, them do if you want. If you have questions. Ask, I'll be really glad to if I can help you. <laughs> and uh, see you next time. Ciao, ciao.